underwater. And yes, we're gonna head back to the main road. Because I've got some stuff to drop off at Home Islanders. Alright, now we can proceed. The League of Geeks arrived. And it is! It's still there! But how is it still there? I thought they got rid of it by now. They got rid of the other ones. Okay Islanders, it's the next day here at Russell Island. We are heading down to a few real estate um, offices just to grab a issue of the Friendly Bay Islander, even though I already know what the schedule is going to be. As I've already mentioned to my friend earlier about it. Unfortunately, there was an event at Club McClay that's clashing with the RSL's event. I did say that I was going to prioritise the RSL event over Club McClay for a number of reasons, Islanders. Let's start off with distance. <laughs> I think we are at the real estate offices. Yeah. There's multiple real estate gonna, offices around here. There, up there. Actually, yeah. There's a lot of real estate offices around there around, is, around Russell there? Island Islanders. That, that's why we've got intense competition from so many of them. <laughs> we do. Because because unlike unlike the um, unlike the water taxi services, um, there's a lot of competition with real estate companies coming in. <laughs> Alright. Right, okay, Islanders, we are on the road and we're heading down to Sandy Beach, is it? Yeah, Sandy Beach on this rainy day. On rainy a rainy Saturday. On a rainy Saturday. A rainy weekend here on Russell Island. Yeah. Um, so yes, Islanders, be prepared for open mic tomorrow. Because yeah, that's that's going to be a pretty big event tomorrow, open mic. And what time's that? That start. Well, the open mic starts at twelve, right. and it will continue on until six. Very good. So I'll just so I'll, I'll be skedaddling out of here just before the oath starts. That's that's obviously the very good time to exit from there, if uh, that makes sense. Oh, it should it should make sense. Show the audience the, the mango tree just coming up here on the left. Oh, that Look tree there. Mangoes up That's Mangoes go oh, yeah. oh. How did they get the top ones? And that's that's like a 50 year old tree. Yeah, I don't even know how they're going to get up to the top there yeah. unless you have like a very, very unless tall ladder. Or unless you're a fruit bat. <laughs> <laughs> or a fruit bat. Yeah. <laughs> very bluey reference there. <laughs> Better than being a bin chicken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's bin chickens all around too. Yes. Yeah. But surprisingly, yeah. surprisingly, we rarely, being an island, we rarely see seagulls, do we? Yeah. We hardly ever see seagulls. That was that was almost a tongue twister. She sells seashells by the seashore. Oh yeah, the tongue twisters, yeah. <laughs> It's all grey, grey, grey. Yeah, it actually looks quite miserable, the it's weather, doesn't it? Today, yes. Yep, it is. See you later, Islanders. Oh, Island Island. Islanders! You can't even see the Gold Coast skyline because of how frustrating the weather is right now. Yeah. It's barreling down on us like nothing. Uh, that's why, you, you know, on a sunny day you'd be able to see the Gold Coast skyline, yeah. but not today! <laughs> Not as severe as the not Christmas. today. Not as severe as the Christmas event, but it's still. Look at it. They can't even see straighty. No, you, you, you can really? you can only see it through the thick fog. It's, yeah. it's like a thick fog's covering North Stratty yeah. or North Stratbrook Island. If you want me to be a bit more precise. Yeah. So that's North Stratbrook Island, not Gurry. If any of you are wondering, Gurry is further north from here around the Sunshine Coast there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, now you can see outside better. 
Even here you can still see the outside too. Well, I'm under the process right now of editing another Isle of Life episode. So by the time that you see this, it'll already be up. You can't see there. You can't see it. You can't see much. Mm. Like, I'm not even joking. You can't see much. Look well, they bought a new boat. Nice. <laughs> How's their mate? Their mate's not too bad. Yeah, it's receding. It's receding, it's receding obviously. Yeah. The water level's receding from the, um, the uh, boat. What's the name of the boat over here, Sam? The park boat? The SS Islander. SS Islander. It seems to be alright. Nothing, nothing awful has happened oh, to it yet. In the, how did he get in there? He's not supposed to be driving in there. He's not supposed to drive in there. Oh, I think I might know. Mm. There's, there might be an opening down there. Uh, That's how they get in. He's driven over this. He's driven over there. Yes, yeah, see. See, he's driven over that. Yep. You see, yeah, this, this, this is what I'm talking about. Right. People find ways to get in. Obvious, so it's obviously no surprise to me, really. I wonder if those people are still camping on that platform. <laughs> We're about patio. to find out. Yeah. And of course, before, this is why you can't build here. Yes. Obviously, the land's too wet. And mm -hmm. it's obviously filled with water. I wonder if it's ever come across the road and gone up to the house up there. Um, I, wonder. I doubt it. Yeah. I mean, we did have an abnormal high tide, but I think it probably got as far as here. I think the houses, because I think the houses were obviously a slightly higher level than the uh, than the road. So it could be possible that, yeah, see the see how the slope's slightly higher over there, and the house is on stilts anyway, slightly. So yeah. Yep, the tent's still there. Yeah, how much longer is it going to be there though? They can't be they can't be there all, all all year long. Like the other camper that left this tent behind thinks it's a good idea, which it is in Thailand. Those don't ever think that. Oh, there's two tents now. Now they got more tents there. Uh, I think I think that's a sheet right yeah, there. Yeah, a sheet and a tent. And a oh, tent. Yeah. Yep. Mm. And I heard that this um, vehicle there actually has a, uh, it's actually shattered at the top right corner. Oh. Like as if someone had, um, like someone had bashed, like bashed that windscreen with like a heavy ball or something. Like a shot put ball or something. Heavy. Yeah, you can see that vehicle inside there. It's not supposed to be their islanders at all. I think this person's just trying to, just trying to obviously bend the rules, which is a big no-no on this. You should not be bending the rules. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the purpose is. You're not supposed to be bending the rules. There's the SS Islander. It seems to be all right. There's nothing wrong with it at this point in time. I think we'll be okay. Alright, Island as well. See you later. Okay, so dinner's finished. Um, rightfully so. I've put this back over here for dinner in a couple of days' time. And if we look inside here, I've got some of the stuff in there for uh, for dinner in a couple of days time or so <laughs> so that's good it's the end of the day now Islanders and uh, yet another night for me to go to bed and get up and obviously eventually you know bring the Isle Life episode out to use um, open mic is tomorrow so I'll be away for a very very long time <laughs> I'm only going to be away from quarter to noon until just before six because I'll be heading I'll probably be home just after six because it's a like, it's a few minutes drive from 
from my from the RSL to get down to my place from here. So we'll be fine. We'll be okay. <laughs> just so just so you islanders are aware of what's going on. All right. Well, time for me to go now. Thanks for watching this episode of Russell Island Adventures on Island Life. Leave a like and subscribe. Most important. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.